am I supposed to say that? <laughs> How many of you have used your white cane for something other than what it's, what it's supposed to be used for? I always start my day off with a balanced breakfast. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Cassie. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And if you haven't noticed, I did receive my white cane in the mail today, so I'm very excited to be able to show it to you. I also received my Braille literacy lessons from Hadley Institute for the Visually Impaired. And so I will be showing you everything that came in the box um, as well. And so, yeah, let's get started. Um, I received my cane from the National Federation for the Blind, and it is a white cane. The handle is black and it does have a little bit of cushion. I wish it was a little bit softer, but it does have a little bit of cushion. So I do like that. Um, the top of the cane has a ring on it that holds the wrist strap. And this particular cane is 57 inches. I had to measure from the top of my shoulder down to the floor. And so that way I can make sure that whenever I'm using it, the cane, your cane is supposed to be to where it can reach at least two steps in front of you. And so that's why you have to measure. Um, the bottom of the cane comes with this silver, um, has a silver disc on it. And it has a CP on the bottom of it. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's really hard to see, but I don't know what that stands for. Uh, if you, so if y'all, any of y'all know that what it stands for, please let me know. Um, and then the side of the cane also has this stamp from the Institute and it just says National Federation of the Blind, live the life you want. So that's really cool. It's very lightweight. Whoops. <laughs> it's very lightweight. Um, it's made of fiberglass and so, um, this was free and you can request one every six months. So that's really good if you lose it or maybe you just want to get, order a second one just in case you lose the first one and that way, you know, you have a spare. It's always good to know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited to start my training. Um, I am gonna be training through my regional institute of the deaf and blind. And so I'm hoping to hear soon about when my training is going to start. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly excited. I've seen a lot of uh, visually impaired YouTubers use their cane just if they're traveling or they need to go somewhere that they're not, you know, uh, familiar with, or if they're just going someplace where they would need to let other people know that they're visually impaired. So yeah, like I said, I'm excited. <sighs> so before we get started on the braille literature. I just wanted to say if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. I'm just going to be posting videos about my visual impairment and just dealing with life and visual impairment. I'm also going to be posting some educational videos kind of like this one to let you know what all resources are available out there. But yeah, just make sure to hit that subscribe button please and the bell notification. So now I'm going to get to what all came in my Braille Literacy box. So this is what all came in my Hadley Institute Braille Lesson box. And this is just the tape that comes with it. I do have to return this to the Hadley Institute when I am finished with all of my lessons. And I'm just going to open it and show you what the tape looks like because it's not just a regular like tape. You can't just play it in a regular tape player. You have to have a special tape player that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But it has Braille Literacy 1 on the front with Braille uh, bumps on it and on the back it uh, shows the USB on the side there. It shows the USB that you have to plug into the special tape player. This is the return mailing um, envelope that I have to return everything in. And these are green felt markers. They're like little felt dots that I can use for my lessons. This is my student welcome letter. 
It contains a, um, my instructor information and how to contact her. This is the mailing packing list that tells what all came into my box. This is my Hadley Institute contact card that has my instructor's information and also their phone number, fax number, email, and website. And this is one of my Braille literacy books. This is one of six. You can open it up and it just has Braille all on the pages. I'm not sure exactly what to do with these yet because I have not been able to listen to my audio book yet. I do have to do one lesson every month and I can either send it in through email or through regular mail. So like I said, you have to have a special tape player to play the braille tape and they put you in contact with uh, your local library system that will have a free tape player that you can request and they send you this application along with some other resources here. Um, you have some uh, bookmarks that have braille on them, a braille alphabet card, an application, the BARD application, which is braille and audio reading downloads that you can actually use on their website to download free audiobooks, and a pamphlet that talks about um, talking books for blind and disabled veterans. Now this is just a closer look at the application for the special tape player from my library. Um, I have to fill out with my name, and address, and all of that information on the front. And whenever I open it up, it has a side on the left that I can take or send to my doctor for my doctor to fill out to let them know that I definitely need this program. And then I have some check marks on the right as just um, different categories that I'm interested in. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please comment down below or um, check out my description. I will put a link to everything that I have talked about today in the description, like I said. Um, so yeah, have a wonderful Sunday. Bye guys.